Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerle and we are back where we are going to talk about Post Planner. This is a video number three out of four. The first video we did a tutorial, we navigated the entire platform just to give you an idea of what it does. The second video we talked about the plan and now we're going to show you how to find your content using this site. It is amazing. I highly recommend that you get it. There is a link below that you can sign up. It's only $3 a month for three different platforms. I'm using two Twitter accounts and a Facebook page. Uh, you can also add Facebook pages that you or groups that you are the admin of. So it, it, the next level for the subscription goes up to 10 platforms. I would recommend starting out with three, get those going, learn how to use the system and then add more. All right. So today we're going to talk about how you find content. Yesterday we talked about planning our content and there's an example of what we went over. We planned out what we're going to post every day, what kind of content. We haven't chosen it yet. We just said this is what the kind of content is that I want to post at each time each day. I'm going to go over here to the find icon on the left. And this is where we can find our content. I'm going to, um, we can go under popular industries, status ideas, and my content. My content is a place where if you post something that was a link to maybe one of your, to your website or to a funnel or something else that you're using, you can, uh, schedule it or put it in a folder under my content. And then you can go back and grab it again and recycle it. Um, what you would do is just go up here to the top and create your content right up here at the top. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go under status ideas. And let's say I want to do deep thoughts. These are quotes and it's text. See how there's a little, I, I call that a little chat thing. That's, that's because this is all text. Now I have to choose my content. So let's say, let's go down. This is stuff that has been on the in on the web for the last week. So these are things that have been popular. People have been reading. They've been proven to catch people's eyes. All right, here, I attribute my success to this. Ah, I never gave or took any excuse. So I'm going to share that. So I hit the share button. I go up here where it says paste and I hit control V. You only have to do that on the text. Everything else will go up automatically. Now I've already chosen the Twitter account that I want to post to. If I want to post to something different, I can hit the plus sign and pick one of my three accounts. I'm going to um, go ahead and, and post to this Twitter account that's showing. We'll keep it that way. We'll X that out. Down here, it says add to plan. You want to use the drop down, and you have three choices. You can say uh, share right now, post it immediately. You can schedule your post and give it a time and a day that you want it to post. So let's say you have call to action and you want to post the same thing to Twitter once every 48 hours. You can go in and do that by hand and not count on the posting schedule to do it. Or if you want to post it now, you can do it. Um, I'm going to hit next. I want it to go into the next slot of my schedule. So I'm going to hit next right there. And then where does it go? Let's go down here to where it says post. This is planned. And I'm going to select my Twitter account again. All right. So here you can see right there, Florence Nightingale. It's going to post tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. That's all it did. It just picked the next empty spot. Now I can go back to my plan. And I want to show you again what the plan looked like. 7 a.m. Oops, that's not it. It's this one. Tomorrow, I said I want to post a text or a picture. So that time slot is full. Now, if I do another text, the next one will go to 9.15 because that's the next text. And it'll override the photo. Does that make sense? So I give it two choices because it's okay. I don't care if it's a text or a picture. I didn't put a text at 8 30 because I don't want to have five or six texts in a row. Um, pictures are fine, but basically that is how you find your content. Now you can, let's go back in since this video is about finding content. Let's go under popular 
and let's go under interesting. You can also find, see here how it has a text? You can also find articles. So we're going to look for articles. You can find articles that are new, that are popular just in the last week or in the last month or all the articles. Now from some of the research that I've done, it was recommended that you stay within the last week. Stay with fresh articles. Don't go back too far. Now you can go and look. You might find some things. Now, if you're using this for your business, here's one that you might use. Why the golden rule must be practiced in business. Middle children are going extinct. Uh, this one is a good one. The difference between amateurs and professionals. That would be good for your business. Sometimes if you just want to put content, um, at, you know, about other things. 14 movies about love based on real events. Uh, if you're into health and fitness, nine exercises you better avoid. If you want to have a feminine body, I don't know what that would be about, but there you go. And if I want to post one, let's do, I'm going to pick this one. You'll be happier if you let yourself feel bad. So I'm going to hit share. Now I can shorten. I'm not putting a link here. This article is just going to come up. If you put a link to your website or something like that, you can shorten it via um, bit.ly it'll shorten it for you if you show the share bar when the link is open it'll tell you um, some other content that would be connected to it but we're just reposting an article i can also add down here some of my hashtags i can say hashtag life hashtag what are we talking about here happy i don't know <laughs> hashtag success how's that all right and then i can say okay let's post it I'm going to add it to the plan and I'm going to share it next. So it'll be the next article. And let's go back and find out where it went. So let's go back to post. Now I don't do this. Um, I don't keep checking mine. I just know it will go into the slots that I chose, but I want you to see how it works. Tomorrow's the 20 here. It went, it went at 945. It is considered a link. Okay. So an article is considered a link. And I could have shortened that if I wanted to. Actually, I wasn't sure about that. So it, it's posting at 9.45 tomorrow. But see, I already have all these posts for tomorrow <clears throat> ready to go. All right. Now, we're going to stop there because, again, as I've mentioned before, I like my videos to be short. We're going to talk about posting tomorrow. You did see a little bit of it, but I'll show you some other things that it does. And if you enjoyed this, if this was helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my link. Use the post below if you would like to uh, sub subscribe to Post Planner. It is an affiliate link. I'd appreciate it if you clicked it and, and joined us. It uh, I, I can't express enough how much time this has saved me. So if you've been struggling with trying to get your post in and everything else that you have to do when you're new with network marketing there is a lot to build there's a foundation that has to be built before you can reap the rewards and this is something that will help you save time you do have to spend money on training on pla uh, software uh, some people go out and, and use coaches that sometimes they have other people do some of the work wherever it is but you're not you're not going to be able to do it without spending anything. Every business needs an investment. So you have to decide how much time, how much money you're going to invest. This to me is one of the best investments that I've made. So Post Planner, www.postplanner.com, awesome site. I'll see you tomorrow for the last video on this series.